A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Where do you store your private key? In the front sentence. What, what am I even doing with my life? This specific hack on the Cardex protocol resulted in $400,000 being stolen from users' wallets. But before we go over anything, keep this in mind. What you practice in dev, you will do in prod. Say it with me now. What you practice in dev, you'll do in prod. Private keys. Where do these go? If you tell me you stick them in plain text in your .env, I, I've got, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. We have tools to encrypt your secrets. Listen, I don't care where you put your private key. And in fact, it's good if you do something different, something novel, you got your own creative way of coding. That's great. That's better for security anyways. But what I do care about is if it's in plain text somewhere. And by plain text, I mean some passerby could see it, go, huh. Let me stick that into a MetaMask and try to steal all the funds. So if while you're coding, while you're building your apps, while you're building your projects, you go, you know what? We're just going to keep the private key in plain text because that's easier for me to develop. Well, guess what? You will bring that over to production and you will stick it in your front end like what happened here. If you see a private key in plain text, you should panic. You should go, this is wrong. The only exception is if it says like, I am an anvil key. I am a clearly a, a dummy key. I'm not real. I don't care if you encrypt your RPC URL. The worst that they can do with those is run up your, your alchemy bill. But if they get your private key, <laughs> you can use Foundry to encrypt your key locally. You can use AWS Secrets Manager. You can just, you know, <laughs> just hardware wallet and never expose it. What you practice in dev is what you'll do in prod. Now, Patrick still to today gets repositories sent to him saying, hey, could you audit this code base with private keys stuck in plain text in the code? And when Patrick informs them that this is incorrect, the response we usually get is, look, we're not noobs, okay? We're incredibly careful with our private keys. You are the noob. I'm not telling you it's a foolproof situation. I'm telling you it's a lot better than just leaving it out willy nilly. It's like leaving your house with the front door unlocked. You practice in dev, you'll do in prod. It's like if you showed up for basketball practice and practiced shooting free throws backwards and then went, oh no, for game time, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to shoot it correctly. And here's how you can know if you see your private keys somewhere, you should panic, copy it. Open up your terminal, and at the very least, if you're using Foundry, do a little cast wallet import my key dash dash interactive, and it'll help you automatically encrypt it. Once you do so, you can dump it from your .env file. And then additionally, if you're reading some documentation that says something like, hey, just stick your private key then in your .env, I want you to get up, look at your computer, and go, hey! You're not supposed to do that. What I'm trying to say is, if a private key is just chilling in plain text, it is wrong. The people who say, oh yeah, no, we'll be real careful. We're not noobs. Those are the ones who get hacked. Patrick and I are telling you this because we care about you and we want to see you successful. Okay, thanks Frank, I'll, I'll take it from here. So even though he was a bit over the top, he, he is correct. We as an industry have had a pretty flippant approach to our secrets management. For those of you unfamiliar, the OOPS website, link in the description, has a whole page on different types of secrets management solutions and techniques and strategies, as well as the SEAL frameworks page also has even more information on key management. And the reason that Frank got so emotional about this is because, yeah, I see quite often people just say, hey, like, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna keep my key in plain text. And they're the ones they're the ones. So if you take anything away from this, please practice using encrypted keys with any of the solutions we talked about here. For those of you smart contract developers, the easiest ones are gonna be using Moccasin or Foundry built-in encryption. As always, this isn't a silver bolt to solve all of your security needs, but it will greatly increase the likelihood that you don't accidentally expose your private key.